Hey, it's Meatball. And Mark. And this is the Rocker Morning Show on demand from 1077 RKR. 1077 RKR. It's a Rocker Morning Show with Mark Frankhouse. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a good start to your, well, middle of the week. So this is always the day where I'm like, okay, let's get through this day. Because once we get over Wednesday, it always seems like the weekend speeds up to get here a little bit. Uh, we've got some rock news to get into uh, first off, we have to uh, make an official announcement. Uh, this is something that uh, you guys could most likely, you know, already assume. But we did get the official word from the Wings Event Center that the Tenacious D show is canceled for October. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of already announced by Jack Black a few short days after his bandmate made those unnecessary comments uh, while they were in Australia. So uh, Jack Black dipped out. Of the tour, put everything on pause as far as Tenacious D is concerned. So we were pretty much assuming that um, the show was canceled. But yes, we did get a word from the Wings Event Center that the Tenacious D show in October is officially canceled. Uh, refunds are being issued. And um, yeah, we're going to uh, gonna be getting a hold of everybody who won tickets with us to let us know uh, what's going on as well. And then also uh, some really unfortunate news. Uh, John Mayall... Uh, just uh, absolute pioneering figure of the British blues and rock scene has passed away at 90, man. I'll tell you what, I've got some John Mayall records that I just, he is one of my favorite blues guitarists of all time. Um, I mean, 90 years old. I mean, the guy lived a hell of a long life. Um, you know, he was, he really helped bring so many great blues guitarists to the forefront. I mean, Eric Clapton um, and, and also like, you know, the guys in Fleetwood Mac as well. This guy, uh, you know, he was born in 1933. It's pretty wild to, to imagine the guy was born all the way back then. But uh, talk about just an amazing uh, blues guitarist. I mean, he played the harp. Like he just, he did everything, man. This guy's got so many classic albums. Uh, if you've never had the chance to listen to John Mayall, just a great blues rock guitarist, uh, dude who jumped on all sorts of albums. Uh, he was in the Blues Breakers back in 65. Uh, you know, he was with Eric Clapton in the Yardbirds. Um, and uh, yeah, it, I mean, there's this guy's done so much in his career in the 90. It's just kind of a heartbreaker uh, that, you know, we, we lo keep losing these musicians, man. Uh, they're not getting any younger. So get out there, enjoy some great local music while you can and some great classic music as well especially these classic rock artists these old blues rock guitarists like they're not gonna last forever man so get out there try to see these dudes unfortunately never got to see john mayall in uh in concert but man talk about a legacy uh you can read all about him on the 1077 rkr app as we play tribute to him and Rest in peace, John. 1077 RKR. It's a rock and morning show with Mark Frankhouse. Meatball on vacation. Probably still sleeping right now. Don't blame him. Uh, he's out in Florida. I am looking to get some good food today for lunch. I'm, I want to hit up these local places because I love going to these little, like, tiny, like, little hole in the walls. Like, and when you say hole in the wall, it sounds bad. It's like oh, some busted up piece of crap. But that's not at all. It couldn't be further from the truth. Hole in the wall, as I look at it, is like a tiny establishment that's locally owned that doesn't have a big national brand behind them that's got a lot of character and personality. And because of that, a lot of love going into their menu because that's where you find some of the best food, in my opinion, and some of the, like, the wildest characters that you're going to meet. So I put this out on my Facebook, and there's a bunch of places that people told me about that I've never been to before. So maybe I'll turn you guys on to some of these. Um, I did meet the owner of Heroes Food and Spirits in Delton. This made the list, and I've actually met them before, and I have to come out there and check that out because I remember they were telling me, like, hey, come on out, have some lunch. And so I got to make it out there. Uh, Benton Harbor, this place called Chatterbox. I've never been here before either. Obviously, we got Kalamazoo, you know, Louis Trophy House made the list. Uh, Brady's Pub over in Springfield here. Uh, Hideaway in Vicksburg as well. So Hideaway, another spot that I have to check out as well. There's a spot in Pawpaw called McCarty's North 40. And um, I definitely got to hit this place up because it's got a big block M 
on the logo for U of M, but they, they seem to support all the local schools as well. Obviously, RJ's Sports Bar in Portage uh, made the list. Sand Hill in Marshall as well. I've never been there before. Um, another place that I, I like stopped in after a show a few months ago, Sugar Bowl in Kalamazoo. Never even heard of this place. I've been here for like six years, and I was just like, we, I never heard of this place. So Sugar Bowl, we went there, and I can confirm awesome food. So you can check out this full list on the 1077 RKR app, but give me a call right now at 978-1077. Let me know where I should go for lunch today, which hole in the wall in your opinion, has the best food in Southwest Michigan. It's time to turn up your dials and tune out the traffic because we're playing The Day 5 on the Rocker Morning Show. Testing the mental magnitude of your favorite morning monkeys on the radio. And now, your hosts for The Daily Five, Meatball and Mark Frank Howes. It is the Daily Five where Meatball and myself ask each other questions, the other one answers. This week, Meatball is out on vacation in Florida, so we're going to be doing a different style of Daily Five, and I've got my friend Brenda with me to uh, help along. How are you doing this morning, Brenda? I'm good, thank you. Awesome. Okay, Brenda, you've already won $20 in Michigan Lottery scratch-off tickets just by joining me on the phone, but we're going to give you a chance to multiply that, so here's how we're going to do it today. Final Family Feud Style if you can answer five questions and get at least 150 points, you'll get $25 in scratch-offs. If you get over 200 points, we will hook you up with $30 in Michigan Lottery scratch-off tickets. Are you ready to roll? I am. You have one minute on the timer, and we'll start as soon as we finish the first question. Okay. Name something snowmen might have nightmares about. Sun. Name something that gets passed around. A cold. Name something that might be full of holes. Uh, your clothes. Name something you don't want people to ask you for. A loan. And name something you might find in a bathtub. Water. All right, Brenda, let's go through your final score and see how many points you ended up with. We asked 100 people, name something snowmen might have nightmares about. You said the sun. Survey said... That is the top answer with 62 points. Nice. Name something that gets passed around. You said a cold, survey said. That was the number two answer with 23 points. Funny enough, a joint was the number one answer. Name something that might be full of holes. You said clothes, survey said. Yes, that was the second question. That's 16 points. Number one was Swiss cheese. Oh. Name something you don't want people to ask you for. You said money. Survey said that is the top answer with 91 points. Oh, wow. And finally, you said name something that you might find in a bathtub. You said water. Survey says that is the number one answer with 44 points. And congratulations, Brenda. You got a total of 236 points. You got $30 in Michigan Lottery scratch-offs. Oh, good. Thank you. My God, Brenda, you absolutely dominated that one. That was good. That's nice. <laughs> Heck yeah, you're like a master at this. All right, congratulations, Brenda. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Thank you. 1077 RKR, the Rocker Morning Show with Mark Frankhouse. Me, Paul, is in sunny Florida relaxing on his vacation. That sees the deal tab at WRKR.com is something you definitely want to be checking out because we were talking about hole in the walls earlier and some of the best food in some of the coolest hole in the walls in Southwest Michigan. But we've got some great local restaurants that are looking for your business and looking to save you some money while doing it, offering a $50 gift certificate for only 25 bucks. So basically you spend 25, you get 25. Mr. Don's a great, like all American cuisine. Uh, you got me Pueblo, enough said me Pueblo just off the chain. WL social house is another place in downtown Kalamazoo that we went a few weeks back that, uh, you know, from the outside appearance, it looks like it would be super expensive. It's actually very fairly priced. And if you get this, seize the deal, at the Seize the Deal tab at WRKR.com, like I said, you get a free $25. So you're going to be spending that anyways if you go out to eat pretty much just about anywhere. So may as well save some money and have a nice dinner out at either Mr. Don's, WL Social House, Me Pueblo. It's all up there. Actually, we got a bunch of different places up there as well as our Southwest Michigan Golf Card. Again, 
18 holes at four premier courses and an hour at the Dome Sports Center. Normally, that would run you about 170 bucks, $75. All those savings up there that sees the deal tab, WRKR.com. 1077 RKR. It's the Rocker Morning Show with Mark Frankhouse. Meatball is on vacation in Florida, but we are still going strong with the Rocker Rides. Now, I want to give you guys a heads up. You will be able to get registered for the Rocker Rides sponsored by Tapper Automotive in Pawpaw tomorrow and Saturday at Warner Vineyards in Pawpaw. This is what we're going to get. This is what we have going on. So, tomorrow, Power Man 5000. This show is is going to be super packed. I mean, there's going to be over a 1,000 people there tomorrow easily. But we want you to get out there and register for either a Ford F-150 or Chevy Silverado, brand new, two-year lease, all financed by Tapper Automotive in Pawpaw. Now, I'm repping the Silverado. And once you come out there to Warner Vineyards, you can actually see the truck you'll be winning. The Silverado is filthy and i mean it's clean those are very contrasting descriptions i know you know how i talk though i'm telling you man the silverado it is gorgeous so you guys got to check this out uh we'll have the ford f-150 is there you can see both trucks see which one you would want and you can get registered to win at warner vineyards tomorrow from six to eight and saturday six to eight so tomorrow's power man 5000 saturday is the insiders the tom petty tribute you got to come out to that one that one's going to be a lot of fun for sure. But regardless, get registered at Warner Vineyards tomorrow and Saturday, 6 to 8. And right now, caller number 7, 978-1077. You are going to get registered for the Rocker Rides. And again, we are going to be drawing the finalists on September 9th. And we'll make an announcement. September 9th, we're going to be uh, calling the winners. You got to pick up. There's going to be 10 finalists and then you'll win a pair of tickets to the Red Knot Chili Peppers. And that is where we will draw the winner for the Rocker Rides. So 978-1077, caller 7. You're getting registered for the Rocker Rides, all sponsored by Warner Vineyards and Tapper Automotive in Pop. <laughs> Out of the deepest corners and the darkest ends of this world. From the Michigan Dockman to Bigfoot, the melon heads of Allegan County, and people from Ohio. This is Weird As Wednesdays. <laughs> What's the craziest fight you've ever seen? Now, I'm not a big fan of fighting. I think it's just wasted energy, and it's just usually adults acting like children. But there are some fights that you just can't look away from. One of my favorite fights of all time, maybe uh, prescripted, but Stone Cold Steve Austin, Joe Louis Arena, driving the Red Wings Zamboni down and clobber in Vince McMahon. This fight, however, may top that. And it's straight out of Super Smash Brothers. Recently, a woman that was driving in Farmington, Michigan, was recording on her phone, and uh, she saw some int interesting characters running down the street. Donkey Kong. Somebody in a giant Donkey Kong costume running towards someone in a giant Bowser costume, and they proceeded to beat each other up on Farmington Road. And this is all on the 1077 RKR app. I will warn you, I'm not going to play the audio because playing audio of a video normally doesn't do you any good. But uh, I will say the video has a lot of expletives in it. So it's definitely not safe for work. So make sure you either got your earbuds in or you got the volume low. I will say this is one of the funniest fights I've ever seen. Um, whoever's in the Donkey Kong costume just takes down Bowser and then starts twerking over his crippled, mangled body. <laughs> this is so great. I love when people get in costumes and do ridiculous things. We need more videos like this. If you've heard about this or if you've seen this, please hit me up at 978-1077. But if you haven't seen this video, you have to check it out. Uh, these guys are definitely in line for their new video game. Uh, Weird Ass Wednesday all sponsored by BC Pizza off West Main 
in Kalamazoo. There's no arguments. There's no fights to be had about that. BC Pizza off West Main in Kalamazoo. Some of the best pizza that you're going to find. Also, they got their uh, buffet going right now. So visit them on their Facebook, BC Pizza Kalamazoo. They've always got it hooked up. They are our sponsor for Weird Ass Women. 1077 RKR. It's a Rocker Morning Show with Mark Frankhouse. Meatball is on vacation. Well, I'm actually happy that the weather is going to be clearing up tonight because apparently we may get a chance to see some northern lights tonight. So this is going to be happening this week. And uh, scientists are saying that uh, the northern lights may be the best time to catch them is going to be tonight. Um, So, yeah, they said normally the best time to see the northern lights is when the sky is dark and clear, usually between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., like when I'm sleeping, naturally. Um, And that happened last time. I was like, oh, did you see the northern lights? It's like, dude, I go to bed at 7. No, I didn't. Thanks. I hope they were awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'm not mad. No, I just, I never get a chance to see them because I'm always sleeping and I'm not risking my precious sleep to see, you know, glowing lights in the sky. But the last, the last time this happened, it actually reached very far south. Like in, in Michigan, places that have a lot of light pollution, it was still coming in very, very bright. So if you're a fan of the Northern Lights, I would definitely keep your eye on the sky tonight because, uh, yeah, experts are saying Tonight may be the best time to see them between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. And this is ha- this is what happens when the sun has a CME or coronal mass ejection. That I, I don't like the sound of that. It's a, it's a good thing the sun makes pretty lights in the sky because I'd be like, yo, can you? Do that coronal mass ejection. Can you cover your mouth? 1077 RKR. It's the Rock and Morning Show with Mark Frank House. Meatball is on vacation. Man, talk about an extended weird ass Wednesday. Apparently, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile got into an accident the other day. Uh, we have footage of this on the 1077 RKR app. Apparently, the uh, oversized cocktail weenie on wheels, it was uh, headed north on I 294. And it collided with a sedan, apparently headed in the same direction. Um, CBS was saying that the driver of the Wienermobile lost control of the vehicle, ended up rolling on its side. (laughs) The Wienermobile was seen on a flatbed tow truck after the crash. Um, It was closed for over an hour. The traffic was backed all the way up. Fortunately, there were no injuries. So there's a couple of things here to take away from this accident. One... The Oscar Mayer Wienermobile must have really good safety protocol in it, which I would hope for if you're driving a massive hot dog. Two, the fact that it rolled on its side kind of just says that it's sticking true to form. I mean, because hot dogs on the hot dog rollers, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's going to work out just fine if it rolls on its side. Just make sure to flip it every once in a while.